In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area of a regular polygon. Now, in previous videos, there's information about finding angle measures related to regular polygons, and that's going to be useful uh, in, in solving this problem. So, uh, the particular problem I have here is a pentagon, but this method will work for any regular polygon regardless of the number of sides. The things that will change are those angle measures that we use in the problem. So when we see an angle measure on this particular problem of 54 degrees, if it's a hexagon, that's not going to be the angle measure you would be using in the problem. All right, the basic idea is when you look at a regular polygon, uh, divide, it, divide the figure up into isosceles triangles. Now all of those isosceles triangles would be congruent since it's a regular polygon. Now, if we can find the area of one of these isosceles triangles, then we can find the area of the whole polygon. To do that, we're going to need to know some piece of information. Now, on these problems, for finding the area of a regular polygon, typically, you will know one of three things. You'll either know the side lengths, or you'll know the radius or the apothem. Side lengths, that would be this. Radius, Radius goes from the center of the polygon to one of the vertices of the polygon. Now it's called radius because if you, you can draw a circle about the, the polygon and it will touch all the vertices. So the polygon, a regular polygon, can be inscribed inside of a circle and this is the radius of the circle that, that can be inscribed in. And then finally the apothem. The apothem is a segment that goes from the center of the polygon and hits one of the sides at a right angle. So it happens to be the altitude of this isosceles triangle. And we know from previous content or previous lessons that the altitude of an isosceles triangle bisects the side that it's hitting. So it's also a medium. Alright, so depending on what's given, whether we're told a side length, a radius, or an apothem, we still need to use the angle measures associated with the regular problem. So let's start with a problem where what's given is the side length of this regular pentagon equals, uh, how about seven? So all the sides, since it's a regular polygon, are seven. We also know, since it's a regular polygon, that all the angles are congruent. And uh, from previous video, if, you, if you're unsure about this next part, you can, you can look in there and find it. But the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees, which means that each interior angle is going to be 108 degrees. Again, just look back at a previous video that I've posted on how to find the sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon and how to find the each interior angle. All right, we said that each of these um, isosceles triangles are congruent, so this 108 degrees would be divided in two, so this is 54 degrees. So we need to find that angle. Now, I know I wasn't given the apothem, I was given the side length in this problem, or I made the problem with the side length, but I need to draw the apothem in, because to find the area of any triangle, it's one half the base times the height. Well, in this particular problem, our height is A, and our base Is seven. So to find the area of that triangle, we have almost all the information that we need. We know our base, but we don't know our height. 
So this triangle, this is the way I like to do it, I like to just draw it separately so I have a nice big triangle to work with, something that I can write on. We well, said that the apothem cuts the side length in half, so really that's 3.5 and 3.5. And here's where a little bit of trig is involved. I want to find the side opposite of 54 degrees, and I know the side adjacent to 54 degrees, so I can set up a tangent equation. Tangent of 54 is equal to a, the opposite side, over 3.5, the adjacent side. So A is equal to, let's multiply by 3.5 on both sides, 3.5 times the tangent of 54 degrees. So that's the equation that I can, or the uh, value that I can type into my calculator to find the apothem. And once I know the apothem, I can substitute it in for A here, and then I have the area of one triangle. Uh, to save having to go to my calculator, calculator right now, though, I'm just going to substitute it in right here. So the area of one triangle is equal to one half of seven times 3.5 tangent of 54. I'll go to my calculator now and type that in. 0.5 times 7 times 3.5 times the tangent of 54 degrees. And of course, make sure you are in degree mode on your calculator. And each triangle is approximately 16. 0.86, uh, I didn't have units, so I'm just going to say units squared. Now, I want to leave it in my calculator, stored in the calculator, because I don't want to round yet. I don't want to round until the very end of my problem. But there are five of these isosceles triangles. So it's five times this, the area of the pentagon is equal to 5 times the area of one triangle. And so I'll take my answer that's stored times 5, and I get approximately 84.30 units squared.